the ecosystem is the place where I work, the ecosystem which is my community, the world, the biosphere. So I think holism simply means we stop looking at biological organisms, particularly human beings, as skin encapsulated egos bound by a, by a semi permeable membrane that is isolated and exists by itself. Your social well being, your community well being, your financial well being, your career well being all influence your physical well being. Because your physical well being is not something totally dependent on you. In fact, you know, I've heard uh, Wayne talk about love, and I work with, with scientists these days, say, just like I said, how do you define the mind? <laughs> no scientist can come up with a definition of mind. Similarly, we ask scientists, what is love? And you know, most of them, having been trained, it's not their fault, They've been trained in reductionism. Say, love, oh, it's uh, oxytocin. Okay. When in fact, love is, is the inseparability of life from life. We do know that when a mother, mother bonds with a baby, or when people have emotional bonding, or when there is a great emotional connection between people, that in fact, when we have the experience of love, your dopamine levels, your serotonin levels, they're all affected. And these so-called biomolecules are not only just biomolecules of emotion, they happen to be immunomodulators. They modulate the activity of your immune system. I'm kind of reluctant to call it because it's such a loaded word. People go to war just for the definition. So, I'm happy with playing this underlying ground of our existence, consciousness. There's a universe and then there is consciousness that makes us aware of the universe. And where science is struggling, spiritual wisdom traditions have said, you can have the experience of this consciousness, transcend, go beyond the subject-object split. Make love, compassion, empathy, joy, equanimity your priorities. Do something for the ecosystem in which you have evolved. And find that part of you that is not in space and time. And you will lose the fear of death. And if you look at all the spiritual traditions of the world, that's what they have in common. Transcendence the emergence of platonic truth, love, compassion, joy, equanimity, empathy, loss of the fear of death, what I would call epistemic humility, epistemic humility, epistemology is that science, of, is that philosophy, aspect of philosophy which says the human nervous system is not necessarily the most developed organ in evolution to give us a clue to the mysteries of life. Evolution was there for the survival of the species, not for uncovering truth. And reverence, reverence for our existence. The Africans say Ubuntu, I am because you are. There is no me without you. And when we have these experiences, then only we can say that healing is complete. Healing is physical, healing is emotional, healing is in the mind, intellectual. We need to feed our hunger. Hunger for food, hunger for love, hunger for compassion, hunger for empathy, hunger for joy, hunger for peace, but ultimately hunger for meaning. I would say know yourself and also love yourself. In fact, before you make a choice for anything, whether it's that french fries or hamburger or going to the gym, ask yourself, if I really love myself, what's the choice I would make? That would immediately break the cycle of conditioned behavior, which is, as you know, 
a triggered response from the lower brain. And so that moment of interruption, stop, take a few deep breaths, observe your body, and then proceed with awareness. But I go along with everything he's saying, obviously, because you need that data also. Unfortunately, now we have the technology to, the digital technology to begin to gather that data. We agree. So, so you agree on the measurement. Say more about love yourself. What, what does that mean? What's the, the I'm, I'm a very goal-oriented person. What's the action item if, if you're, you're telling people to love themselves? What does a mother do? Does she, does she ask her what's the action step if I love my baby? <laughs> and that would be sad if she had to ask that question. <laughs> so, just treat yourself with the same caring, tenderness, affection, and um, attention um, that you would your own baby.